Hello YouTube, how's it going? Retro Dave back again. Oh, it's drink time. Now what I've got here could quite possibly be um, the rarest NES find um, I've ever seen, um, in the UK at least anyway. It's not going to be you know, as big as you know, a stadium events or uh, Nintendo World Championships. It's not as that rare as that. But um, I believe it's it's up there. It's um, definitely up there. Um, and yeah, it's definitely hidden gold. Um, now, I would say, I just come across the listing on eBay. Um, it wasn't advertised, pardon me, very well. Um, if, if the seller knew what he had, um, and he would have put these in the description um, properly. I I would think these would have sold for a lot more than what I got them for. Um, probably in the thousands. I'm going on. I'm gauging that price on someone else that's got some that have paid uh, an amount for a certain number of them. So I'm gauging it on that. Um, yeah. So they're very, very, very rare. Um, and the fact that these ones, these this set I've got here right now, have never been for sale on the open market until like last week. Um, and you may ask, well, how do you know that? So what's happened is um, I've obviously I won the listing, um, got them delivered, I, and I was obviously I was at Prince thinking. What if he? What if he does some research and thinks, you know, has he sold them cheap or whatever? And I just, I just didn't want to think any more about it. So I actually got them. So I got them delivered. Um, so I didn't want to look into it any any further. Once I got them in hand, once I'd had them arrive, opened the box and saw the the contents, and I was like, yes, fucking yes. I contacted the guy and basically, yeah, thanks very much. Item arrived, no problem at all. Um, and I was basically said. Um, can you tell me how you come about getting them? Where do these come from? So I text the guy basically that and he said, Hi Dave, all the games came from a girl whose aunt worked in the UK Nintendo headquarters in Fairham. I think the address is on the cartridge labels. All the staff were given the games straight from America. So yeah, so these these games have come from an ex-employee at Nintendo, and they've been in a loft ever since. Um, I don't, I'm not sure of a year, but I'm gonna guess. You know, we're talking over 20 years, 20, you know, 25 years ago, um, up to probably the early 90s. So yeah, that's kind of these have never been seen before um, in the public. Um, not being sold in the public domain until like literally the other week. Now, I obviously managed to win the auction, um, and they kind of went undetected on the, off the radar um, until the last few seconds of the auction. But even then, I think people that were bidding on them didn't know what they were um, because if they did, they would have gone a lot, lot more up than what I got them for. Now, what these games are for. Um, that I found is for a particular um, unit. Now the unit is a Nintendo M82 demo unit. Um, so if you don't know what one of those is, I shall show you a picture and then I shall read you the description. Let's turn that down a little bit. So that is what a Nintendo M82 unit looks like. And as you can see, it holds um, the games in the front you can see by the window. Now, I'll read you from Wikipedia um, the description of the M82. It says, the Nintendo M82 is a demonstration unit for the Nintendo Entertainment System to allow customers to try games in store before purchasing them. The full title on the machine was the M82 Game Selectable Working Product Display. The machine was fundamentally different from the more arcade orientated play, play choice because it used consumer NES cartridges instead of the latter's proprietary ROM chips. The M82 could hold up to 12 games which were visible on the end through small windows and were numbered 1 to 12. 
Unlike the Japanese Famicom box, a similar demo unit that demanded specially made cartridges, the M82 accepted any standard game cartridge. The games were selected by pressing a red button on the front of the unit, up to two controllers and one NES zapper could be connected and were held on small shelves on the lower front of the unit. The playtime could be set by the store via a knob on the back of the unit. This could be 30 seconds, 3 minutes, 6 minutes or 128 minutes. Nintendo also developed other in-store demonstration units, however the M82 seems to be the common variety of these Nintendo systems. So that's what these games were used for um, in this demo unit. Now the demo unit itself is, is pretty damn hard to find. Um, now there is one on eBay at the minute for sale um, with some games in it, but they're, again they are just normal retail games. Any games, any game behind me, you could throw in there and it would work. Now what's special about what I found is these are genuine loan cartridges that were sent um, from Bandai, the Nintendo's main distributor back in the day, um, on loan to the shops for customers to try. So these were never intended for public sale they were never for sale um, they were you know on loan from Bandai so for these to appear for sale is very very rare and so rare in fact that um, I know of one person that has an M82 demo unit they have 10 of these cartridges in their machine um, and from what he knows he's found that there was two discovered in 2005 again on eBay by total accident and I think there was a story of someone that found a Super Mario 3 one on a car boot um, just one so as far as we know from what I've researched the last week um, there's three being found out in the wild if you like um, like two on eBay plus that one and uh, another person that I know has an M82 unit with 10 cartridges in and when I told him that I had found a whole pile of these cartridges, um, 49 to be precise, so that's enough to fill four M82 demo units plus one double, he couldn't believe it and he honestly said that he bets his, his house on it that, um, that I'm the only person that owns this amount of these games. Um, he knows of no one else that has any of these games, he's never seen any more for sale. Um, so this could be potentially be the rarest find of NES games in the UK, Europe, who knows. I mean, we're not talking as rare as World Championships, obviously, or stadium events, but it's up there. It, it is. These are mega hard to find. I mean, I've stumbled across them by total fluke, um, and I'm happy that I found them, because being a massive NES collector, as you'll know if you're regular viewers of the channel, um, something like this to me means a lot more to me than the value of it. It's the fact, it's the it's the rarity, the history behind these games that is important to me. Um, and to have something that is unique um, in the collection, um, yeah, it's fantastic. Now, there is more. There's more games than I'm going to show you, but I'll show those afterwards. There, there, there's there's a pile of other normal retail games. That haven't got labels on. Now, so let's just go before I show you the games. Let's just recap what I've said. So these are loan cartridges that were never intended for public sale. That were sent from Bandai, um, distributed to the shop to the stores to enable customers to try the game before they bought them. Uh, these games have come from an, a Nintendo employee that used to work at this. Uh, Nintendo headquarters in the UK back in the day so she's had this pile of games in a box and put them in a loft and they've sat there ever since they've never been for public sale nobody knows nothing about them Google knows fuck all about it Wikipedia knows nothing about it there's a couple of old threads like I said before from 2005 um, I think on Nintendo Age um, or Digipress I'm not sure um, which one it is um, off the top of my head but I say we, uh, me and my friend have been looking um, and we found very little to no information on these games whatsoever so yeah these are gold dust 
So I'm going to show you them. Um, some have a little bit of damage. I will go to those um, as I get to them. Now, as I hold them up, they're going to be quite repetitive because they all look pretty much similar, but I'll show you the end labels. So what I found that is so rare is, uh, yeah, demo cartridges that look like this. So they've got a label on the front of the game label. And that one is Life Force Salamander. Now I'm going to add, um, but what I've done is I've wrapped these cartridges in these plastic bags. Now I have not cleaned these games. These are these are protected as found. So these have come in a plastic tray um, that have been sat obviously in this loft for over 20 years, and they've literally gone from that tray in these wallets. So they have, you know, they've got a little bit of storage dust in the in the top and so on, uh, maybe a little bit of dust in the bottom, but I'm not I'm not worried. You know, I want to preserve these in like as found condition um, for the time being. Um, I just think it makes it a little bit more special to know that you know they haven't been wiped over. I mean, normally I clean my games up, but on this occasion I've kind of just want to preserve them in the condition that they've been found. So that's Life Force Salamander. I'm gonna show you again. The same label. Um, this is Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. This is the original Super Mario Brothers. See a bit of label there. There is DuckTales. That is Airwolf. That is Donkey Kong Classics. We've got a black label on there, which is Golf. It's quite a few of you guys, so bear with me. Another one, which is Goal. You might be able to see through this one at the side there, and that is the original Turtles. This one I'm really happy to have. And you're going to see it from the side. It is the original black label Donkey Kong. And that one is Pinbot. <laughs> it just keeps going. Gunsmoke. Next one is Russian Attack. Mega Man 2, it's got a little bit of dog ear on the corner. Next one is Kid Icarus. <coughs> Next up is the original Mega Man. This one is Black Label Kung Fu. This one is Metroid. Bit of label damage this one. Snake rattle and roll, which you can see from the top there. You might be able to get this one from the label. And that is Nintendo World Cup. Next one is Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Black label game again. This one is soccer. Just gonna take a quick drink break. Next one is Batman. And then we have Skate or Die. Next up is Solstice. Next up is the original Castlevania. And again we've got Robo Warrior. Next up is Tiger Heli. To the Earth. Hogan's Alley. Bit of label damage on that one. It's Maniac Mansion. 
first one is Excite Bike. And also, that's one I've got a double of. This is also an Excite Bike with a little bit of damage on the label. So, two Excite Bikes, that's the only double here. Duck Hunt. This one's got more label damage. That is Mario 2. Next up is Section Z or Section Z, depending on where you're from. Uh, we have Turbo Racing. A rare game anyway. Balloon Fight. Another black label game, which is Tennis. Next up is Solomon's Key. Bit of label damage in this one. Um, it's been lifted a little bit on the ends and that is uh, Blades of Steel. Next up is Boo Eye Fighter. Uh, this one is WF WrestleMania Challenge. Classic Tetris. Get near the end now guys. Next up is Goonies 2 and the Peace to Resistance, the original Legend of Zelda. And then we've got three games that have got damaged labels. Um, this one I've plugged in and tried, the label is completely ripped off, and that is Fester's Quest. Uh, this one has had the front label ripped off, but there's a very small amount left there, and that is Gumshoe. And another label ripped off is Mario 3. So that's it, that's 49 um, loan cartridges for the M82 um, discovered. Um, and honestly, for those who don't know, that is a real hidden gem. Um, I mean, I've been looking on YouTube for M82 demo units. There's plenty of videos of people who've got them with kiosks, but none of them have got the loan cartridges in. Um, so that is a really, honestly, a really rare find. Um, and I'm so chuffed um, to have come across them. Now, with that lot, there's also some other games um, that haven't had labels on, just normal retail games. But bearing in mind the history of the bundle and where they've come from, I do strongly believe that these were probably destined to have labels on, but never got sent out. Um, I mean, that is my own opinion. Um, I don't know that for sure, obviously. Um, but going to the fact that they've come from the same person in the same box at the same time... Um, I honestly believe that these were probably destined at some point to have the label stuck on and sent out to a shop. So I'll show you the other games. We've got another copy of Pinbot. Um, we've got an Iron Sword Wizards of the Warriors 2. Krusty's Fun House. Again, this is how I found them, so if there's any dirt on them, that's why. Castle Lane. We've got a Rainbow Islands. And there's some more, there's quite a few guys. Uh, Pac Man. Off Road. There's another Soccer. Another Metroid. Facts and I do. Turtles. Mario 3. Shadow Gate. There's two copies of Mario Duck Hunt. Gauntlet, is it Gauntlet 2? Yeah, Gauntlet 2. Cobra Triangle. Uh, Action in New York, which is Scat in the USA. Another Turtles. Double Dragon. Bart vs. Space Mutants. And a label damaged Rad Racer. And on top of that, there was also the NES console. Um, now, you might be wondering, well, did you ask them about the M82? And your answer is yes, I did. I, um, I actually emailed, uh, sorry, I texted the guy and said, um, I don't suppose there was like a big grey uh, box or like, console that the games went in. And he said no. Um, and he asked um, the lady that gave him the games to put on eBay, um, and she definitely, you know, she didn't have it either. So I'm actually going to try and get hold of a contact number for this 
lady um, and see if I can find out any more information on um, the games, um, if, on the M82, um, just basically find out a bit more information if I can. I mean, I might text the guy and get no response. He might be more than helpful and I might get a contact number and I might be able to ask this lady some questions. Um, but, you know, if that happens, obviously I'll update you in a later video. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it there. Um, I think it's been quite a long one as it is. Um, but yeah, any questions, um, please feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them. Um, but yeah, that I honestly believe is you know a, a, a rare find. Um, I don't know of anyone else other than this other person that has ten um, that has these games. Um, so, but if you're watching, um, if you're a watcher, you're not on YouTube or anything, and if you've got a, a selection of these games, you know, please let us know. Um, it'd be interesting to find out how many more, if any more, are out there. Um, there may well be other ex-employees of Nintendo that might have these in a loft somewhere. Um, I don't know. But if you have, let us know, share some information. Um, if you used to work for Nintendo, again, please put a comment and, you know, let us know. Let, you know any information about these would be fantastic. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, and if any updates uh, arise, if I get any more information, I shall do like an update video. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and I shall catch you again for another video very soon. Take it easy.